All right, Mount Rudmore here, and I am back with some more Telltale The Walking Dead. And as you can see, it's a familiar face that I'm playing as right now. That's right, we're playing the Michonne game. So let's just get into it. As with the final season, this will only be the third time I've ever played through this. And yes, this came before the final season. So the final season isn't actually the final part of the game I'm playing. But I'm doing it for the ones who live with Rashone's impending reunion. I left so many people that I loved behind. So many that I can hardly remember them all. But there are two. Just two that I can never forget. I thought I was done with them. But they're not done with me. And we're already starting off with Michonne losing it. There was a time jump in the comics. This is set in that time jump when Michonne went off to do her own thing because she uh, wasn't feeling too great. It was after the war with Negan and the Saviors. Why not go for that? There you go. Sound effect was a little late there. Clearly, Michonne is in a very dark place. She is going back and forth between two different realities right now.
just through the head. You don't have to chop it off completely. That head is still moving. Technically, that head is still a threat. Alpha bit someone when she was just a zombie head. I'm not even sure if that voice was in was in this timeline or the other one she was thinking of. Oh, we're really we're really starting with this, huh? Some days I envy the dead. Kind of glitched out there. <gasps> Sorry, there's a song. Too bad, it's a good song, too. Clips of Michonne from the comics. One of them I happened to notice was when she was the governor's sex slave. All right. Rashid, come in. Over. Vanessa! You there? God damn it. Hey, Pete. Michonne. What are you doing here? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? Don't worry about you. You're not the easiest to read. It's hard to tell how you're really doing. Well, sometimes the best thing is to talk about it, so... Well, I'm not great. Hang in there. This stuff you're dealing with, it's not gonna go away overnight. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. 
I just need to keep busy. Oak! Oak! What? Get down here. Michonne's taking your ship. Two minutes! I still haven't heard from Rashid or Vanessa. It's not like those guys to be in a contact for this long. We trade every time I come through. Same spot. Everything's just... gone. Hmm. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. Vanessa! Rashid, come in! Something might have happened to them, Pete. Maybe they just didn't make it. And maybe they're still out there. Maybe they need our help. We just don't know. That's the problem. Yeah, well, it's gonna be tricky to find out. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, that you? I heard I it. I think I hear something, yeah. Hard to make out, though. Hey. Michonne? Uh, again with the short wave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. Well, if they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? That sounded like You heard help. it that time, right? She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. I love how she he's drinking a world's here. best mom no, damn from it. a world's best mom We're losing coffee the mug. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. Or we'll find Pete out Pete seems like a good stand-up guy. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta do better than that. All right, so let's help her. At least someone gets it. You're the only one on this boat that even comes close to understanding. Not Berto, not Sadiq, especially not fucking Oak. You know <laughs> there are people worth helping. Take over for me, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around. Where are you? A mob jack. Anything? <laughs> I heard her. Barely. <clears throat> I knew it. Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What is she doing? Oh, bloody hell! Who's that? Can't see a damn thing! Everyone okay? Berto! Sadiq! You guys better get up here! What do we hit? Hell if I know! I can't see a damn thing! Berto! Hold the wheel steady! Take in those sails! Now! Sadiq! Get down! Are you alright? Thanks for Sadiq. the save. This Jesus. just kind of hit me. Oh, oh yeah, Sadiq, he's a control. character from the comics Damn and sure the show. Me. You just had to take us in close, right into a fucking rock. Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is going to find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. 
You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. And we're stuck out here, nowhere to go. We shouldn't have been wasting our time out here. Stop. We need to free the boat. That's our priority. She's right. All this talk isn't doing anything to get us out of here. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on! Michonne, what exactly did she say? I asked where she was, and she said, Mob Jack. I couldn't make out more than that. Michonne, take these. See if you can figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again. For all our sakes. I'll be honest, I genuinely don't remember what it is that we hit. to see out there. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Hmm. Sorry. It's too dark to see much of anything. Yeah, I uh, sh should have used the flashlight. My bad. Hey, Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Hey, Michelle. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just... I don't want to see this fall apart. You know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. I like it here. You're not the only one. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this. Let's fix this mess and get going again. <clears throat> Never had a tiller break like this. Pretty sure it's not under warranty anymore. How long can I talk to this guy like this? See if there's anything out there. Anything. We can scavenge for parts or tools. Okay, I'll move on now. Need to find some food soon. Well, I assume you have fishing poles. It makes sense to have a boat and not have fishing you poles. You should start producing fruit one of these days. These things are ancient. No wonder they broke. Michonne, we could use a hand here. Maybe we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. I stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. But he's just an optimist. You call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. 
You think this is an accident? Damn wind. Grab it. Grab it! You're saying this is a trap. People do anything to survive these days. And to get their hands on a boat like this... <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. But we can think of it. Decent sized boat right there. You see anything out there? Looks like an old ferry. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. Oh, she's a fast walker. <clears throat> Find anything? Saw a ferry. Maroon near the shore. A ferry? Didn't see a ferry last time I was here. Till a lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Till a lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need to. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. It's the best option we got. What about your friends? You think they could be out there? Hopefully we find some sign of them. Rashid knew the area better than anybody. He'd know where to find the parts we need. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. All right, so we're just gonna sit around waiting for you. You wish. We've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. <sighs> Christ, here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull her out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Edge. Got it. That seems like Don't an unnecessary anywhere. word. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Okay, that was a little more awkward of a process than I expected, but it's done. Don't let this turn into a rescue mission. Forget his friends, right? Best get the parts and get back here. Pete means well, but you know what they say about good intentions. Such a cynic. I can't make that promise. If someone's in trouble, I'm not going to just leave them. We can't lose anyone else. Come on, let's get going. So you just won't let anyone get close to you? Is that it? You ready? Sure it's quiet out here, huh? Not a sound. Kind of peaceful in a way. Don't you think? I don't know. Something's not right. Something's not right. <laughs> Ever the optimist. Bodies. You know, something's really been bothering Alive or me. dead, though. You I mean, like... Ask. What? Were they zombies that got killed or people that got killed? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Because <laughs> I look like a pirate. What do you think? Be honest. I want to know. 
Oh, fuck Oak, what does he know? <laughs> I knew you were all right. I think it ties the look together. <sighs> knew I'd get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's gotta be exhausting. I'm sure you have your reasons. Just makes it hard to get to know people. I think you're exaggerating. This is you. <laughs> All right, that was a yeah. pretty good Michelle face. Not you know, when I first brought you on board, never thought you'd decide to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody. I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. Well, I keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But here you are. I haven't got sick of me yet. What can I say? You're not terrible company. <laughs> I'm flattered. Sun came up fast. When we met, you were. I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy out there. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it. Not unless you want to. I wasn't going to do it. I hope you know that. I... I didn't know that. I mean, you did see me lower the gun. You know, that was the option I this, picked. I was just on my own, like you were. Convinced myself I liked it that way. But after a while, I just... Oh, for God's sake. Pirates of the Caribbean walkers. Consistently deep. I should have kept my mouth shut, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse, you know. Yeah. I know. See? It looks like they're walking, not swimming. So... I can't really tell what the depth of that water is supposed to be. I don't like this. Might be someone who can tell us where everyone went. There's no sign of anyone. Just those fucking crows. Something might have scared them off. I hope you're right. Maybe they found someplace better. Well, unless we can find another boat. Looks like we're stuck here. Well, mob jacked. Looks abandoned. Doesn't mean it is, though. We'll figure something out. Glad you're feeling so optimistic. Looks like there's two ways in. The ladder or the window. Someone took a lot of care to keep this ferry from listing. Wonder where they are. All right, let's do the window because I think I did the ladder before. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. 
I'm not afraid of the dark. It's just the fact that this is a zombie apocalypse and there could be walkers in the dark that I can't see. That, I think, is a reasonable fear. But what do I know? I think it's not that dark. I've got it. Why do there need to be two heads on the show? Her sweater, a dog wearing glasses. These people weren't walkers, they were executed. to a child. I mean, I know the world's going to hell. But this? It's awful. All of it. With a child? I know. <sighs> I knew it was bad. But I didn't expect this. Looks like this thing got a lot of use. Maybe it's a cat wearing glasses. Can't really they tell. Make sure none of them would come back. It's just an absolute slaughter. Blood. So much goddamn blood. anything in this boat. It'll be in here. Bastard. See, Pete is like a healthier version of James. He he definitely is not comfortable with violence, but he, he doesn't have his head in the sand. I have never seen anything like this. All those people. Also, he's definitely not seen as much as James has. Who the fuck could have done that? It wasn't war. It wasn't even self-defense. It's just sick. Focus on finding the girl. Then we can worry about who did this. You're right.
Hold up. We don't know what's in there. What do you see? There's a duffel bag. Looks like it's in good shape. Any sign of people? No walkers, right? Looks quiet, but keep your guard up. My guard's always up. Thanks. Someone scavenged everything else but left this? Makes no sense. I know, but damn. We could really use this stuff. Clementine, can of peaches. Oh my god. Mary Lily's peaches and beans. God, I used to have these three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Drove my mom crazy. Bunch of medicine. Where'd all this stuff come from? Cigarettes. Don't show those to Berto. We finally just got him to quit. Yeah, I'd honestly just leave them behind. Plenty of ammunition. We should see what else we can find. I honestly think I just heard a door open. Heard the, the creaking sound. Never know when you're going to find another beverage. one of these. Do love a good fruit beverage. I'll wait to open the door. Let's check the room. You think candy bars are just gonna magically pour out of there? Hey, never hurts to try. I'm gonna adjust the graphics. Okay, graphic black, off. I get that it makes it look more comic booky, but it's just kind of distracting. Another Anything? locker with Logan written Empty. on it, just like in season one. A whole bunch of little Easter eggs in this room, and another Logan locker. Locked. Money's still here. No use to anyone now. Oh. Shouldn't be wasting those, dude. Greg! What's going on? Easy. Who the hell Easy. are you people? Who are you? Look, kid, just tell me. Now! Careful! I'm Michonne, and that's Pete. We're just passing through. Yeah, sure you are. That bag belongs to us. So step aside, all right? Probably shouldn't don't have left it out in the open. I don't want to do this, but we need that stuff. So just back up. We get it, okay? Some of our stuff is in there. 
Let us take it and not gonna happen. Down. Aim for the head, stupid. It. I know I pressed the buttons. Wait, hold on. Down. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Too close. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. That is a pretty amazing kill. Thank you, Pete. I picked the letter go. Randall! Shit! Looks like you caught our thieves. Oh, you look like nice trouble. Job. You. Man, you gotta be kidding me. And you've got help this time. Interesting. Thought you were a solo act. Guess we had you figured wrong. We're not with her. What? We didn't have anything to do with this. This is a misunderstanding. Not sure I believe you. Damn. I know Sam here didn't do all this. Get them all onto the boat. Be careful. These new ones aren't fucking around. We'll take them to Norma. They try anything. Shoot them. Well, didn't take long for us to find ourselves in a mess. We're only 44 minutes in. Let's see. Two canteens, a lighter, pocket knife, oh, machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No, they're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. Don't worry. You'll get them back. Once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit. Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy right. might talk to me. Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. He doesn't seem like the most reasonable listen, I know guy. We can work something huh? out. We can just start talking to you. Might be worth the shot. Don't say it. Be careful, all right? Hey, cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. <laughs> you. We'll start with you. You didn't What's hear him name? talking, though. It's okay. You can tell me. I'm just making conversation. My name's Michonne. Randall, now that the, uh, pleasantries are behind us, let's talk about what you did. We didn't take anything from you. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to your cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. 
Look, you have your bag back. Seems like we're done. This does Not seem like quite. a lot of effort. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handled those walkers back there, but uh, how are you against something that can actually fight back? Hand it over, I'll show you. It's plenty sharp. <laughs> Take good care of this blade. I can tell. Untie me, and I'll show you. I'll bet. Weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. Uh, why is it in his hand? Did you see that? You know, every person we find living, they got he was like, dead with. Like Wolverine with one claw out. I remember in the very Mother? first X Men movie when he Father? just left the middle one out? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> Oh man, I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you, you got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. But hell, we all lose people. Can't let it get you down. You better back the fuck off. Woo, sounds like I hit a nerve. <laughs> well, don't feel bad. I'm a lot like you. No shame in that. We're nothing alike, because I have the energy of someone who survives. You don't. Like, you exist solely to die. Yeah, you got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. Folks you fucked over. It wasn't us! What was that? We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just thrilled to see you. Well, that seems like a waste of a rag. Might need it another time for who knows why. Just saying, it seems wasteful and unnecessary, and you're just trying to be a jerk. Zachary, thank God. Oh, we got you a gay couple. I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. Here, found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll uh get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hope I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I'm... Not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. You know who Norma kind of looks there. like? Felon Lil's mom from Rugrats. She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I think she's more than capable of speaking for herself, Randall. I want to hear it from her. You're calling me dangerous? Who's the one that threatened us? Tied us up? I do apologize if my brothers treated you poorly. Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Betty DeVille. Find somewhere comfortable. That's who for Norma the looks team. like. Bella what? Wells' mom. That's my brother! Come on. You got this under control? Sam! Greg! You'll be okay! Get moving. Classic divide and conquer technique right here.
Where are they taking Pete? Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down and I'm blaming you. And you don't want that. Trust me. See you soon. He ain't worth my words. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's uh, probably not gonna happen. Oh, we've gotta get out of here. You're gonna hurt Greg. These people, you don't know what they're capable of. I'm worried about Pete too, okay? Should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you, I'm... Um... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Why would they hurt Greg if the two of you didn't do anything wrong? Because! These are not good people! No, I gathered that. This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall would show up there. Not after... After what? Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. This used to be full. How should I know? Hmm. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. Is there anything else? No. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. It must have come from there. Hey, Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find I have something. been looking. They took the life vest, too. This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. So these are probably the people who killed him. Those are her daughter's toys. She's losing it again. Lobo? Something that I can do? You're very weird. Sorry, I, I asked. It's best not to not to freak Sam out even more. First time I played, that was a, a good little jump scare. <sighs> Come on. If you want to get out of this. I need you to tell me the truth. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. 
-hmm. with his whole crew. And he just murdered them. They were trying to run away. Son of a bitch. Norma told him to. She must have. And they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Oh, you know what happens. They just... It's nothing to them. I saw what Randall did. Now do you get it? If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. You with me? Yeah, why not? This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? Throw it. Worth a shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it, let's do it. Words to live by. Well, guess who? Quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept you together. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were dangerous. Come on. Norma wants a word. Maybe if you'd been nice to me. And maybe if you didn't kill all those people. Who knows? Maybe I might have been a little more kind to you. And, uh, yeah, Sam got knocked the F out, didn't she? So, Miss Schoen. That's a great name. Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Miss Schoen. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Nice, strong name. Can you get to the point? I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure, once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, now we're not gonna get along. You keep that up. There's no reason we can't be you friendly. You were rude to Norma. Who cares? No need to be rude now. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. You and I are gonna come to an understanding. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. You seem brighter than Samantha. 
We're not together. I don't know these kids. So you say. And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together, at the exact same time. Pete and I picked up a signal on the shortwave. It was coming from the ferry. Hey, Zachary. Yeah. Get Janie to take a crew on down to the mob jack. See if anyone else picked up on this signal. Bring anyone they find back here. They need help. We'll take care of them. So how about you? I don't believe group? you. Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can act on incomplete information. There's nobody else. Hmm. That's interesting. I know. You told how the truth, but it sounds look to you. I get unlikely. It. But there's more to this than you realize. Well, whether you're with them or not, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You almost believed her, didn't you? You haven't exactly proven her wrong. You're the one who grabbed us, locked us up. For good reason. She's lied to us before, stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. How am I supposed to feel about that? She's just a kid. Too young to know any better. <laughs> yeah, looks like she fooled you too. There's a fine line between Boy, the, being generous. The notifications and being taken are really laying it on of. thick, aren't they? Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. What about those people on the ferry? Children, whole families, executed. How many chances did they get? No, we didn't do that. Scavengers killed those children, their families, everyone. Then they took over. So Randall went down there, gave those murderers justice, made sure they'd never kill again. That's what we do here protect people. Oh, your story sounds that like BS. Clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. You don't want to threaten me. No, I don't. But you've put me in a difficult position. You're a loud drinker. You're a slurper. Don't like that. Last question. Where's the rest of my shit? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets and ammunition, handguns and a couple of rifles. All missing. I've got no fucking clue. Of course you don't. Yeah, because I actually did just meet Bring in the Sam. Kid. What, what are you doing? Greg. Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. 
Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact-checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother... <laughs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on, then. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on, now. Ask him. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're all family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said you weren't even together. Someone's full of shit. It certainly looks that way. He's just scared. Leave him be. The kid's a liar. Oh! Hey! Okay. Let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people? You remember, don't you? Ask him yourself. How many of you are there? There are. There's, uh... There's more of us. Lots more. Well armed, too. Well, that's disappointing. She said it was just you four. No. Said Randall, it was just me and feet. Please, I'll tell you whatever you want. Aim that at me. I dare you. How about I just shoot him? That isn't even Randall, what I said about. I think you made your point. About us being together. Get I didn't realize towel, it meant Zachary. like the four of us. Alone, okay? He's just a kid. I'm trying to say it was just when we're done. me. Get the and fucking Pete. towel. Poor kid wet himself. Lying again. Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. Go fuck yourself. Please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get him in line by being soft. Now, being smart oh, isn't gonna, the same as being I'm soft, I'm not gonna get you in line. Randall. I'm just gonna get you. We're not get gonna you. get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below just and get saying. the other fella. You make quite the pair of liars. Mm. This world just depresses the hell out of me. Zachary, a word in private. Are you okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are they done with us? Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is... It's gonna get worse. Well, maybe they'd stop if you gave them what they want. I, I would if I had it! No matter how many times I say it, no one believes me. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. And my little brothers can see me now. I've never done that before. Never. Ever. I've just never been so scared. I'm not like that. Afraid. Fuck! I've seen people do a lot worse. Yeah. But not me. I knew about the Rodders. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? Yeah. I, I didn't know it was this bad. They know what they're doing. They just don't care. Not everyone is like these people. I've met others. Folks who don't kill unless they have to. I wish they were here. I don't know. Thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, they're the only reason to live. What if you that don't even have that? That was getting deep on me. 
I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live, so you keep going. But when you stop... Michonne! What did they do to you? Just ask questions. Hey, Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. Any day now? Really? No matter what, they're gonna hurt you. That's the least helpful advice I've ever heard. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. Hmm. Yeah. I definitely don't like these two. Just looking forward to... I know just where to put you. ...to getting them. Oh, what the hell? Jonas! Haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here! See, not everyone here lives with squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. Gosh, he just works so hard. What is it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides fuck Jonas. Okay, fine, Randall. Well, that's let's just right. you do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that need doing around here. This is how you treat your own people? Only when they need it. Look, whatever you're gonna do, Randall. Okay, I expect you to treat us not gonna do decently. Shit. If we give your you anything. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Here. Go on. Get them talking. What? Where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo. Hey, you shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun. I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. Please. No one has to get hurt here. Shut up! Just because Randall's an asshole doesn't mean you have to Hey! Be. You gonna take that, Zachary? I'm not like him. Prove it. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! I need a location. Now! That's it! Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please! We all need to calm down. Okay, okay. If I knew where your ammo was, I would tell you. Um, I... Hey! Who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me! Stop! Stop! Don't move! I do like Sam. Sam! Sam, Sam don't! It's okay! You think this is okay? Get it together, Zachary! Stop! What are you waiting for? Tell Randall to leave. Then we can talk all you want, okay? Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! <laughs> Damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too far? I didn't... Mm. Outside, I, I, I didn't... now! Oh, no, 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 Greg! Sam. Tell me this isn't what you wanted, Randall. I can't! Sam. Oh, God. Greg! Oh, shit. We need to lay him down. Come on, Greg. Come on, don't do this. 
gonna turn. He's going to turn, Sam. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. Everyone turns. Know. Always. You need to be ready. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't. I just need another second. Please. <laughs> I can't let you go yet. Greg. Greg. I love you. We need to take care of this. End it. I can't. I just need more time. <sighs> Sam, you don't have much more time. No, Greg, God, he came back fast. I think he might have set a world record for coming back. Why didn't that kill him? Did he just die? Don't want to drag this out for the poor kid any more than I have to. He's like Ben, honestly. I'll explain everything. Sam, put the gun down. Why? He's a murderer! Calm down, Sam. Please. You're not leaving this room, you son of a bitch. I, I mean it, Michonne. This, this bastard killed my brother. You know he has to die. <laughs> That said, I wouldn't have given him the gun back. But yes, he can die. Sam can kill him right there. We all got demons, honey. And I seen some fucked up shit in my time. But you, the walker's neon green. You're a whole different animal. Cage radioactive. Up, just itching to get out. Oh, what happened to Sam? I honestly don't I seen remember. It in your eyes. You're a killer. That's what you do. You don't know what I can do. <laughs> Got him tied up at some point. Did you try to end it? You win 67.5% of players lower the gun. 
Entering the ferry, you and 28.7% of players went in through the window. Ambushing Randall, you and 57.4% of players headbutted Randall. Did you sell Greg out? You and 57.8% of players shared the blame with Greg. I honestly didn't even mean to do that. Did you let Sam shoot Zachary? You and 82.8% of players tried to save Zachary. I think everyone just kind of knows that, like, he was really... Zachary was kind of a victim in that scene, in a way. Granted, not as much as Greg. Or even Sam. But, you know, he was definitely forced to... He, he didn't want to be in that situation at all. All right. Well, that was episode one of the Michonne game. Preview for the next one seems to indicate that uh, something happens to Sam, and Randall seems to get himself caught by me somehow. I do kind of feel like both of those were showing a little too much. But that's the way it is. So uh, that will do it for this stream. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at NickGrimesYT. You can see when I go live. I have links to my Twitch channel, my YouTube channel there. And, uh... Yeah, that'll do it for me. I'll see you next time.